大家好，欢迎收听今天这一期的早安英文。我是卡拉 ，and this is Dylan. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Oh, this is Dylan. Today, today, this topic, I think it'll be fun. Ah, we'll just cut to the chase. Ah, in today's episode, we're gonna list, we're gonna point out some of the common mistakes that native English speakers make. I make no mistakes. Oh, really? My English is perfect. Oh, 是吗 ？Yep. 那我们 we'll find out, okay? Especially on Tuesdays. <laughs> 为什么 ？Just because it's Tuesday. 呃、uh, ，OK， 啊、uh, ，不要管他，<笑>没错，我们这个母语人士啊，也是会犯错的，尤其是在口语当中。And uh, I have to say that some of the mistakes are so so common that I'm not even sure that they're considered as mistakes anymore. Uh, yeah, that actually happens in English quite a bit. Yeah. 嗯，呃，我们已经说好了，我们要呈现的方式呢，就是首先我来说一句英文，然后呢。让 Dylan 来找一找有没有什么错误在里面。当然，大家也可以在那边一起找。你听懂了吗？懂。是吗？哦。哦。Okay, and I promise I didn't tell him the sentence in advance, right? Yeah, she won't even let me look at her computer. <laughs> 对。<laughs> This game is stupid. Okay, number one, are you ready? Yes. Number one, the service was terrible, but anyways, the meal was gorgeous. Ah,、uh, that is incorrect. 呃，什么地方 ？But anyways. So it's about anyways. Yes. Anyways is not a real word, although it's in the dictionaries. Anyways is not a real word. Yes. I did not、so、know that. So the Cambridge Dictionary said it's an informal for anyway. Oh. And a、uh, long man, do you know long man? Yeah. 老文词典。他讲 many teachers think this is not correct English. Really interesting. So, have you ever said that? No, I haven't. 是吗 ？No. 好吧，那你就算过了这一关了。那所以，比如说给大家举一些例子啊，就是 anyways， 其实就是和 anyway 的用法差不多。比如说，你可以讲 you're late. Anyways, at least you showed up. Is that、yeah. weird? Uh, it's not weird actually. <laughs> no, it's very colloquial, but、uh, it's not weird. 嗯，或者比如说 I'm very happy with it. Anyways. Yeah. 但是呢，还是建议大家最好不要这么用了，因为毕竟词典上面都讲是错的。OK， 其实这让我想到了一个我们中文当中的词，叫做呃说服，嗯，就是 convince， 知道吧？刚跟你讲的，嗯，就是以前呢，最我记得小学的时候我们学的时候学的是说服，然后呢到高中之后，突然间老师就讲说要读说服了，因为字典里面改了，就是因为有很多人读错这个读音，所以一直到现在我都心里面觉得很不服气啊，都不愿意。读成说服 ，OK. So now number two. Oh my God, number two, number two. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. Yeah, I ain't got no money. Sound like you're from the South of America. <laughs> That is wrong because you have two、uh, negatives. Double negative. Double negatives. Yeah. So this is called double-negative. Double-negative sentences. For example, I don't have no money, but it should be written as I don't have any money. Yes, that's right. In standard English, when two negatives are used in one independent clause, the negatives are understood to cancel each other out and produce a weakened affirmation. 那么在这种情况下呢，其实它才相对应我们中文当中的呃双重否定，因为双重否定表示一个间接的肯定嘛。比如说我们中文当中讲说，我做了。但是呢，换成双重否定就是我不是没有做啊。其实它这个语气是稍微削弱的。那么在英文当中啊，这种情况它其实有一个词叫做 light totes。嗯、mm, right? ，Yeah。那如果说英文里面讲 double negative， 它通常就是指的是双重否定，表示一个加强的否定。Discussing English grammar, uh, the term double neg negative is often, though not universally applied to the Non-standard use of second native as an intensifier to negation. Double negatives are usually associated with regional and ethnical dialects, such as Southern American English,、mm. African American vernacular English, 
and various British regional dialects. 嗯，所以这种双重否定表示加强否定啊，它是和这个呃一些方言有关的，从方言由来的。Most educated adults don't make these mistakes, and if they do, it's probably kind of an intentional, casual style of speaking. You know, they're trying to sound all badass. 真的吗？ Actually, where I'm from in America, we have an accent.、Uh-huh. It's kind of a mixture of Middle America accent and California accent.、Uh-huh. So to say a small stream or a creek,、uh, I would not say creek. I would say crick. 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 So that one could be a mistake, or it could be people intentionally trying to copy the features of a dialect that's cool and popular. 嗯，就是讲它是 grammatically wrong. Yeah, 对，就是从语法上来讲呢，它是错的。但是呢，有很多就是方言啊，或者说想要模仿方言的人，他就会用这样的方式来讲 ，sounds bad as， 就听起来贱贱的那种感觉。比如说 ，I didn't say nothing, I didn't go nowhere today. Yeah.、嗯、或者说 ，I'm not hungry no more， <笑>这种之类的。OK， 好了，第三个 ，There's lots of cars in the car park. That's right. No. What? No. 我再给你念一遍。There's lots of cars in the car park. That's right. 我们来给 Dylan 一点点时间。Think about it. There is lots of cars in the car park. Okay, we'll stop. We'll pause to let Dylan think. 好啦，我们回来了。Uh, I told you I'm a big idiot. So, yeah, what's wrong with it? I don't know how to explain it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. 为什么 ？I don't know. Okay,、It's... so in speaking and in some informal writing, we use there's. Even when it refers to more than one, ah,、uh, uh, yeah. so it should be there are lots of cars. Oh my car goodness,、park. I've lived in China too long. Sure. Because this there be 句型，我们中文当中是怎么讲的？叫做就近原则。所以它紧接着后面这个词 lots of cars 是一个 plural form， 是一个复数形式。所以前面这个 be 动词要用复数 there are， 但是呢，它却讲了 there's。So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a、uh, there is is like a contraction for both there is and there are. Yeah. So yeah, that's the explanation. There we go. So you will use this, right? You will say that. I would probably say that. Yeah. <laughs> 去掉这个 probably, but you say that. <laughs> and and no one would probably catch it. Ah, so you know, for example, there is three people, ah,、uh, three other people who are still to come. He 本来应该要讲成 there are. Three other people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.、And、similarly, 还有这个 here's. Here's. Yeah,、mm. that doesn't make sense. 对 here's 可以是 here is 和 here are 的缩写。比如说 here's some pictures of her. 它其实它应该要讲成 here are some pictures of her. I think Kara's English is better than mine. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Ah,、uh, number four. 仔细听啊 ，Every one of us working in the company are striving to provide the best service. Is that right? No, it's What? not right. What? Every one of us working in the company are striving to provide the best service. Oh no, that's、service. wrong. That is wrong. What is wrong? It should be is instead of are because the plural word people for people is right next to the verb. Some people might mistake it for the subject, but the、mm. subject of the sentence is actually everyone, and of us is extra information about the subject. Everyone is singular. Impressive. Don't patronize <laughs> me. 好了，好，给大家解释一下啊，就是刚刚这个错误呢，它在这个。就是谓语动词 ，be 动词啊，不是 are， 而是 is。为什么呢？因为呃，紧挨着的这个名词啊是 us， 也就是一个复数的名词。很多人呢就会误会成这个谓语动词要用复数 are， 但其实呢，它真正的主语是前面那个 everyone 啊，后面这个 of us 只是一个修饰的成分。所以呢，这个谓语动词应该要用 is。Number five， 第五个 ，We've got less pieces than we need. There's ten people and only eight pieces. Ah,、uh, that is wrong because it should be fewer. It should be fewer instead、mm. of less. 对，所以这个问题是什么 ？Can you explain it? Ah,、uh, yes, because one is a countable noun and one is a non-countable noun. 对，因为这个 fewer 它是用来修饰 countable nouns， 用来修饰可数名词的。Ah,、uh, uh. like non-countable noun would be like coffee, right? 对，所以你可以讲 less coffee. Yeah. 但是呢，你应该要讲 fewer pizzas，、yeah. 因为它是可数的。Uh, 但是很多人 ，I think many native speakers confuse these two words. 
We do actually, yeah. Yeah, like you rarely use fewer. We rarely do use fewer, yeah. 一般都会用 less instead of fewer. Why、And、is that?、Uh, I don't know, but you, you still understood, right? People still understand you, and you、yeah. actually come off quite pretentious if you do correct someone with that.、Yeah. 我觉得 is it maybe because fewer is hard to pronounce? Fewer. Fewer. We've got fewer pieces. Yeah, <laughs> less is just simple and easy and quick. 对对 And yeah, lazy people. Yeah. 嗯，对，可能是因为 fewer 这个词的发音会比较麻烦一点啊，这是我的猜测。然后呢 ，less 这个词发音就会比较简单一些。所以很多时候呢，即使是可数名词，他们也会用 less 去形容。So can you give us some other examples of a countable noun? Less instead of fewer. Oh, okay. So、uh, I want to travel less miles. Yeah. But it should be fewer miles. 这这么一想 ，fewer miles sounds really weird. Yeah, it does, right? <laughs> 感觉好奇怪。Okay, number six. We should have went earlier. We, we should have sh- went earlier. Should have, should have went earlier. We should have left earlier. Yeah, that's it's wrong. We should have left earlier. And maybe we should have gone earlier. Oh yeah. Left or gone earlier.、Yeah. 对，所以这个呢就是 confusing the past form and past participle of irregular verbs. Yeah. 对，就是那些不规则的动词构成，就是很多呃母语人士啊会搞混他们的过去式和完成式。比如说这个 go 这个动词，它的 base form 就是 go， and its past form is went. 然后呢 ，past participle 是 gone. Gone. 啊、uh, ，所以呢，这个 we should have. 这个是 we should have， 它后面应该要接一个完成时，应该是 we should have gone earlier。但是呢，很多人会讲成 we should have went earlier、mm-hmm.。So which do you prefer? Hmm, both are okay.、Uh, yeah, 都可以。嗯，好，最后一个，最后一个。I literally jumped out of my skin. I literally jumped out of my skin. Um, yeah, it should be figuratively. You can't use literatively、uh, with something you cannot do. So literally means. To actually do something, 对 yeah. I literally drank a cup of coffee today. Literally, 对，就是我今天早上实实在在的喝了一杯咖啡。所以 literally 这个词呢，它哦，好难啊。Literally， 它它本来的意思呢是确实的、真实的、不加夸张的。But nowadays, people use it to emphasize a strong expression or word that is not being used in its real or original meaning. Some people consider it to be used、uh, incorrectly. 对，但是现在呢，就是这个用词非常非常的普遍，大家可能都听到过。它现在会用来表示，呃，就是简直的意思，只是用来加强字面意思，但是没有什么真实的实际的含义。但是呢，很多的人啊，就是认为，呃，这个用法是不正确的。Like she literally has thousands of pairs of shoes. 所以这个句子呢，如果说正确使用的话，它本来的意思应该就是 if you count， 如果你去数的话 ，there are。Thousands of pairs of shoes. Yeah. 但是其实这句话的意思，它是一个 exaggerate. Exactly. 啊、uh, ，它是一个夸张的说法。所以呢，这个算是 literally 的一个错误的用法。Ah,、uh, the next one is, he was literally blazing with anger. Blazing with anger. 它的字面意思呢，就是说气到冒烟了，脑袋上冒火了。但其实他并没有真的脑袋上冒火，是吧？所以这个 literally 在这里也是一个加强语气的作用，而不是说真的气到头上冒烟了。但是这个词呢，其实如果说大家平时在口语当中使用，也是没有问题的。Okay, guys. So we can obviously see my English needs some work too. So <laughs> don't laugh, Kara. Yeah. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay. So mistakes are the only way we're going to be we're going to learn.、Mm. Even native English speakers make mistakes. 对呀、啊。Yeah, don't let it bother you, and just remember to communicate. 对。Yeah. So, Kara, when I speak Chinese, do I、uh, do I seem afraid to make a mistake? <laughs> no. 对啊，你可以分得清楚你的胡子和裤子吗 ？No, I'm not afraid to make a mistake, though. <laughs> That's how you learn. 永远都分不清胡子和裤子。好了，所以呢，我们今天做这一期主题呢，一方面是大家如果以后再听到母语人士讲这样的东西的时候呢，要可以去理解这个事情。再一个方面呢，同时也也想要告诉大家啊，真的不要害怕犯错，因为他们平时在生活中也是会犯错的。这有什么可怕的呢？语言的真实的目的是用来 communicate， 用来交流的，对不对？ Welcome to Morning English. 
。早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。好，那我们今天的节目就到这里了。And thank you for coming. I am Kara. And this is Dylan. Have a good day. <笑>我们下期见吧，拜拜。Bye bye.